Okay, my darlings, if it feels good to you and you have blocks, we're gonna start in a supported fish pose. If it doesn't feel good, I feel like I say this all the time, like this is my speech. If it doesn't feel good, do something else. It's very simple. I'm gonna guide you into this position. Block, <clears throat> unfortunately you can't really see my blocks because they're the same color as the mat, so I'm gonna move them out here. I like middle height, high height. I like it in this direction, not this direction, so I get it across my shoulder blades. I like the one in my head, the long, high but long way, so that my head has more support. And it's not necessarily like you land and you're there perfectly. You might need to do a little bit of finagling <clears throat> to get yourself comfortable. I'm Maeve. I'm happy you're here with me. Allow the block under the shoulder blades to kind of prop the heart open. You can do this with the blocks at a lower height if this feels like it's too high, especially if you're like on the petite side, this might feel too, too high. <clears throat> And then allow your shoulders to just kind of drop open. Allow your arms to get heavier in the ground, your gaze to soften. And awareness to your breathing. Following your inhale, following your exhale. sounding really corny in this moment if you can find it in yourself to be grateful for this moment for being here on your mat and really recognizing what a gift it is to have this time to be in this practice of self-exploration self-awareness self-inquiry Congratulate yourself for getting here now. And then slide your feet in if it's okay. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana on the block. So just allow the knees to drop open. draw up. A few different ways to come out. You can just roll to your side. If you feel strong in your abs and your neck, you can lift off. Okay, but just be careful. Bring the blocks around if you have them. If you don't, floor will work just fine. Elbows come on. And then think cat cow here. So this would be your cow. And this would be your cat. So inhale and exhale. Spinal flexion and extension. Extension, flexion. We move with and place our body with our breath. We place our breath with intention. last time and if you're comfortable doing so hands on the blocks I'm gonna take them a little wider for me I always feel like I slip unless I put the heel of my hand kind of at the base of the block and then downward facing dog and the blocks just give you a lot more space here drive the heels down you can have like a little sort of undulation of your body here you don't have to be completely still just kind of rooting the hands, the feet. Breath in. Exhale, right foot comes up between the blocks. And if you want to rise the blocks up a little bit or raise the blocks up a little bit, go for it. And then back leg is straight, heart pulls forward. <clears throat> right hand comes to the right hip. You're going to tuck the thumb into the crease of the hip. 
Gently draw the hip down and back a little. Roll the right shoulder open, press into the left hand. Beautiful. And then reach your right hand toward your back heel, toward your left heel. And then take it up. Mm -hmm. And then if it feels good, take it overhead. And hug that tricep toward your cheek, your facial cheek. Because I know I refer to your booty as your cheek too, but right now, right here. You know, I can't say buttocks. I haven't gone on that tirade in a while, but I can't say it. I mean, I just said it, but I can't say it without being like laughing internally. It's the child in me. So I have to say booty and cheeks and things like that. Glutes. I can't say buttocks. I mean, like, I just can't, can't come out of my mouth and I feel like I'm teaching something serious. Hands down, straighten the front leg, and then melt. them up, lay them flat again, down dog, press back. Breath in, exhale, left foot comes forward. And then if you want to pop them back up again, go for it. Good. Nice long stance, up really high on those right toes, push the hands down, take your left hand, thumb into the crease of the left hip, kind of draw back and press down, so getting deeper into that hip. Really powerful in the right leg. And then turn open to the left. Take the left hand back toward the right heel. Roll the shoulder open, the chest open. And then up. And then if it's okay, overhead. Press the feet down, draw them toward each other gently. One more inhale. Hand releases down, straighten that front leg and you can just melt the spine. If you don't feel good melting down, lengthen out. So this is really open for your interpretation and I really want this to feel good. Lengthen. If you propped up those blocks, bring them back down. This time, plank. Breath in. Chaturanga. Up dog. So with the blocks, you're just going to get like this nice big lift. Strong legs. Push the tops of the feet down. Downward facing dog. Exhale. And then if you want, move the blocks off to the side. If you want to keep them, keep them. Breath in. Lift your heels. Bend your knees, bring your feet to your hands. Lengthen halfway with your inhale. Fold deeply with your exhale. Push the floor away, inhale, rise, rise, rise. Draw your hands into your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half forward fold. Right foot steps back, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Plank, inhale. To your belly, exhale. Shalabhasana. Turn the palms open, thumbs up, float the feet back. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, exhale, step your right foot forward. Crescent, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. And bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Bow forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Left foot steps back, exhale. Crescent, inhale, exhale, hands down, 
plank inhale to your belly exhale palms open thumbs up shalabhasana down dog exhale breath in exhale step your left foot forward crescent inhale exhale hands down step to the top of your mat inhale halfway exhale bow rise inhale hands to heart exhale inhale reach up exhale bow inhale halfway plank exhale breath in chaturanga or the floor cobra or up dog inhale downward facing dog exhale Lift your heels, inhale. Bend your knees, feet to hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands, heart, exhale. Yeah, yeah, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, exhale. Your back bend of choice, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Bow, exhale. Halfway. Make your way to downward facing dog. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Step it back. Put other poses in in that transition time from front of the mat to back of the mat. Whatever works. right leg back inhale knee into your chest exhale right foot forward left heel down Virabhadrasana one good left arm forward right arm up good draw that left shoulder forward good right hands gonna come down to your right hip kind of like press that hip open and down a little bit so we're not externally rotating but we're kind of pushing down here to like deepen that crease so we can go a little deeper. And then both arms come back up. Send your arms up like crazy, so good. One more inhale. And then bow, reach the arms back, come up onto the back toes, and then rise up, Ardha Chandrasana. standing leg. I'm going to bring my block with me. I'm going to put it on the outside of my right foot. Left leg goes back. Good. Bend the front knee like crazy. Arm and leg press into each other. Take the left arm, stretch it back. Roll the chest open. So palm toward the sky. Thumb going the direction of your back. So palm up. Uh huh. Nice deep external rotation. And then come forward with that arm to take it overhead and then powerfully stretching. Tricep with that left arm wrapping toward your left cheekbone, just gently. Left hand down, 
pinky side of the left foot, Vashistasana, Good. Listen. Right knee comes down. Right arm stays forward. Left leg stretches back. Breath in. Exhale, elbow knee. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Expand and open, inhale, option to bend that back foot, find your, or bend the back leg rather, find the foot, and then press it. Nice. Maybe get lighter in that left hand and kind of rise up just a smidge. Pull the foot in toward your butt to come out. Hands come down, tuck the right toes, left leg stretches back, inhale. Left foot steps forward, exhale. Back heel roots, Virabhadrasana one. Right arm comes forward. Uh, left arm is gonna, or hand is gonna come to your left hip. I'm just gonna come in a little closer. So I'm just kind of putting my thumb in here to kind of get this sense of deepening the crease of the hip. So right shoulder, right rib cage draws forward. Keep pushing that right leg back. So don't let that come with you. Leg is an anchor. Bring it back up, and then really take those hands toward the sky. Sense of equal strength and effort and ease throughout the body. One more inhale, bow forward. And then half moon, Ardha Soften that front knee. I'm going to bring my block with me. I'm going to put on the outside of my left foot, and my right foot's going to come back. Good. Take the right hand back. So palm down. I'm, I'm sorry, palm up, back of the hand down. So we're taking the shoulder open and a little down. Good. It's not going to stay there because we're going to come around this way. And now the shoulder follows the arm. It's okay for it to go with the arm. That's what it does. We want it to do that. Powerful arm. Grab this right tricep gently toward your cheek. Arm and leg working together to create a little more energy to wrap open, to root down. Right hand comes down, pinky side of that right foot. Vashistasana. through center. Left arm's going to stay up. Left knee comes down, right leg goes back. Inhale. Exhale, draw in. Inhale. Exhale. Yes. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. When I get up off this ground, I should leave Hold it open. Option to bend the back leg, find the foot, press away. Maybe start to get kind of light in this right hand. It's a 
come out, pull your heel toward your hip. Release your hand, palm the floor, tuck the left toes. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach it up. Right foot forward, exhale. Warrior one, rise up. Exhale, bow. This time, lace the hands if it feels okay. Stay here, come on the back toes. Keep the hands if you can. Half moon with the arms laced behind the back of the hands laced behind the back. Bend your standing leg. We're coming into side angle. Option to take this left arm behind your back. The right arm can extend forward. It can come down. It might reach under and you find a wrap. And I know that's a lot, so it doesn't always work. So this is like this is the thing I would let go of if you don't need it. Left hand's gonna come around. Pinky side of the left foot. Vashi stas, and I maybe just pull this knee up. Yes. Beautiful. Come around, right knee down. Left leg back, right arm forward. Reach back, find that foot if it feels good, kick away. Yes. Bring it around, right toes tuck, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, bow, lace the fingers the opposite way. Push off, half moon, keep the arms if you can. Bend the standing leg, right leg stretches back. Right hand maybe behind the back, left arm maybe forward or down. Possibly a wrap. Wraps don't work for everybody. Don't get attached to it. One more inhale. Release this right hand down. Vashistasana, maybe pick this left knee up. Woo. Nice. Keep the left arm up, bring the left knee down, right leg up, reach back, find the foot if you want, or just stay there. Release carefully, tuck the left toes, three-legged dog, right leg back, right foot forward, warrior one, rise up. Exhale, bow, lace the hands. Pull up, half moon, option, keep the arms if you can, and see if you can just tuck that foot in and push away. Woo. Bring it back, side angle, your choice on how it is, and then left arm around. Now listen, maybe left knee to the ground and bring this right leg back. Yeah. You can do this with a straight leg too, but you can kind of start here if you're not sure. Yeah, and I'll show you straight leg, kind of out of space with this wall, but you get the idea. Come around, right arm forward, right knee down, left leg back. Reach back, or don't. Good. Release it, right toes tuck, three-legged dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Warrior one. Bow forward, place the fingers if it's okay. And then take off, I need to give myself a little room. Half moon. This doesn't have to change, but maybe bend that top leg. Just kind of sneak your foot into your hands. side angle. Any version of it. Nicely done. So good. Right arm's going to come around. Vashi Stasana. You can put the knee down or not. Maybe this left leg comes behind and you find the foot. Good. Left arm comes forward. Left knee down, right leg bends, maybe it doesn't. 
release carefully. This time, plank inhale. Chaturanga. Rise up, inhale, nice work. Down dog, exhale. Enjoy a few breaths here. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look at your hands, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. Really nice. Chair with a breath in. Left foot lifts up. Warrior three. Anything you want to do with your arms. That could be hands on the blocks, arms overhead, out to the side. If it feels good, maybe lace the hands or bring the knuckles together behind your back. Or reverse prayer if it's there for you. When I say it's, um, if something, like I'll always say, like, if it's there for you and it kind of falls out of my mouth, and I want to explain what that means. If it's there for you, doesn't mean that if you can do it. It means if you can do it and it feels good on your body and beneficial. So don't just do it because you're like, I can, or, oh, that's the challenge. I'm going to go for it. I, I should be doing that. There's no shoulds. It's if it's there for you. Like, if it's there for you. If it's like, yeah, that feels good and I want to be there. Bend your standing leg. Step your left foot back. Keep the arms. Breath in. Draw up and back on that right hip just a little bit and then bow down over the leg. Keeping the arms if it's okay. If not, you'll release them. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Carefully release the arms. Left hand is going to come down, right hand up. A block is a wonderful tool here. I have my left hand on the left side of my right foot. I did not cross it over, which you can, by the way, but I'm just going to go for a lot of space right now. So don't suffer. If it's there for you, put your left hand on the right side of your right foot. Really nice. Check in with your breath. This feels hard. Remind yourself of what a gift this practice is. This moment. One more inhale. Bring that right hand around. Bend the right knee. Come back through warrior three, please. Come back into chair. And press back up to stand. Draw your hands to your heart. And just receive your breath, the work. Inhale, chair. Pick up the right leg, warrior three. So same thing, any arm variation, but maybe, maybe, maybe it feels good to bring the hands behind the back in any configuration like this, like this like this, make something up, I don't know. Soften your standing leg. Right foot's going to stretch back. Root the heel down. Breath in. Keep the arms if you can. Pull back on the left hip to bow forward. Inhale for length. 
Release the arms. Right hand down, floor or block. Start to turn to the left, left arm up. Warrior three. Chair. Press up to stand. And release. Really, really nice. Inhale, rise up. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, lift. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg back. Come really high in the left toes. Bend your left knee, look at your hands. We're gonna hop the left foot to the top of the mat or just step your left foot forward however you need to get there. Really nice. Rise up, keep this right leg lifted, and bend the knee. Yes. Right arm reaches up, bring it around and back. Palm this way if it's okay, like I'm trying to give you a little smack. And then bring your hand to your foot. Yeah, a strap is great, Ali, beautiful. Left arm reaches up. Push your foot into your hand gently. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yes. Making our way to Navasana. If it's okay, you're gonna sit down and voila. If that looked like it was some sort of serious nonsense, take it out, just make your way here. Bend your knees. Feet down, breath in, <laughs> roll back, slide your feet in a little bit as you come down, bridge pose, nice and easy, rise up, maybe lace the hands. Lengthen out the low back, open the heart a little bit more. Your next exhale brings you down. Back to Navasana, to down dog, any way you want, or just roll over and come into down dog. So if you want, Navasana, and then to down dog. Enjoy a few breaths. Left leg back, inhale. High, high, high into the right toes. Bend the right knee, look at your hands. Hop this right foot forward. Swing the left leg up to help you forward. Beautiful, keep that left leg lifted. Rise up. Bend the left knee. Good. Left hand reaches back, palm that away. If you can, inside of the foot. And then push your foot. And just push back and push back and push back. Love country. Love country. Spirit 
catch you, yeah. Rise up. We're making our way to Navasana. If it's available to you, if it's there for you. This is a great example if it's there for you. You'll sit down. I'm going to operate on the idea that I can throw things at you that you might not be able to do and that you won't take it personally. Right, Lulu? That there's nothing wrong with you. You just need to change it up and do something else. And that the poses that I throw at you or the transitions I throw at you, they're not necessarily anything to even aspire to. They're just a thing. Just a thing. Bend the knees. Come here. Come here, Lulu. It really is a holiday. We got the Lou. Lie down. Bridge or up above. Come here. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, Lulu. Rise. Inhale. Dreaming with these open eyes. Hi. Hi. One more inhale. Your exhale brings you down. And then back into boat if you want. Yeah. And then make your way to down dog. Traveling for healing. Such nice work. Speak to myself. How far will I go? Right leg back in him. High into the left toes. Bend the left knee. Really go for it. Kick up and hop that left foot forward. Rise up. Take this right arm around. Right into dancer's pose. Maybe. We bring the foot into the elbow. Yes, 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 yes. I had to look over and see, and I screwed myself up, but you look amazing. You look amazing. Come on out. Listen, listen, listen. Not to boat pose. Aren't you so happy? Standing splits. Hi, Lulu. This girl sounds angry when she's happy. I know, Lulu. If you want to take some handstand hops here, go for it. Two more breaths. And then back to down dog. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Enjoy your breath. Someone recently requested more cat on YouTube. I'm gonna have to look back to see who it was, but here you go. More cat. And you've got the jackpot at the Lulu. She doesn't come for yoga very often. This is prime sleeping time. Okay. Left leg back, inhale. <laughs> Lift your ear. All right, big lift into the right toes. Really go for it. Hop that right foot forward. And then coming right up into Natarajasana. Maybe slide that foot into the elbow and come around.
and then into standing splits. Oh, Lulu, she put fur all over my mat. All over my mat. Okay, can stands if you want. Yes, yes. And then back to down dog. Blue, blue. All right, knees are gonna come to the ground. Pad your knees if you need to. All right, not everybody's favorite pose. Can we go into it with a little joy, no expectation, openness to whatever might come. Hands, back of the hips, belly in, glutes engaged. Doesn't have to be big. Heart to sky, that's it. Now, this is a lot of Nada Rajasana. It's a lot. It's this openness here, gets the bend of the back leg, the rise, the lift. Rise up, either child's pose or just sit back. Nicely done. Inhale, rise up. Same thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hands come back to your heels. You're not resting back. You know this. You're lifting up. So. If your, your feet are pushing into the ground, as if they were pushing away in your hand, and you don't have your hand connected to your foot in the sense of like, you don't have this push-pull thing that we have in Nadha Rajasana, but imagine you did. Imagine you do. So maybe hold the heels a little bit and pull gently away. And then carefully rise up and then pause. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then right leg steps forward. And then straighten the front leg. Hanumanasana. Whatever your Hanumanasana looks like. This is going to be my Hanumanasana for today. But if you want to take your leg out, go for it. I choose this version of Hanumanasana at different times, not because I can't do a deeper version. I don't want to say deeper, a bigger, a more expansive version. I can absolutely do that. And I'm, that's not like, oh, I can do a split. It's more like I can do it. Sometimes I choose not to do it because I get more out of just being here. And I can't tell you what you need on any given day. I mean, I really can't. So you're going to explore that. And my point in saying that is just, again, knowing that even if you can do something, maybe you don't need to on certain days. And it doesn't mean that that bigger, more expansive version is a better version ever. Carefully. If you've extended the leg, now drop back in and then rise up. Good. I'm going to try to keep this. And you might just literally stay here and lift your heart. Maybe you find camel on the left leg. And then rise up. And then we switch our legs and left leg comes forward. 
and Hanumanasana. I don't know if any of you have this with your pets. You can't see Lulu. She's just out of arm's length, like literally just out of arm's length. And she's sitting with her back to me, like she's making some kind of statement and then sporadically she'll turn and give me a little glimpse of her blue eye. Lulu, so rude. So rude. Come here. So rude. guys she's like a seal like her body is like a seal I know clearly my mind is wandering I'm not present in my practice right now but maybe part of my practice is my Lulu and she's like a feline seal she didn't like that at all now she's totally out of here she's like I'm not a seal I'm a cat you have a few more breaths here that's her fur reminds me if you have extended your left leg, carefully draw it back. And then rise up. Just like feel your center. Maybe just lift your heart up. You gotta keep that leg active. Maybe this right hand comes back and we open up. And I knew you'd be back. Rise up. Good. And then just come to sitting. Come here. Crossed legged or stack the shins. Come here. Oh, there's my girl. And consider coming forward. Just consider it. forward rise up and a switch switch your legs that way. Mm -hmm. If it feels good, just come a little forward. and just decide how you want to finish your practice. If there's something you need before you get into your final position, like a twist or, I don't know, a happy baby, do that. If 
if you want to finish seated, set yourself up. If you want to finish with your legs up the wall or lying flat on your back, any other position that feels good to you, just choose wisely so that you can be for just a couple minutes, but you can be with as much ease and stillness as possible. Emphasis on the ease. Allow your eyes to soften. Maybe they close. to move just notice how you feel feel what and how you feel and if you feel good allow yourself to really relish that sensation of feeling good and allow that to imprint in your being if you feel content or happy or just at ease allow that to stay with you as you start to make your way to sitting. And I asked you, corny as it may sound, at the beginning of the practice, to feel gratitude for this time on your mat and for this practice and the gift that it is to you. Whether you know it or not, it's a gift, damn it. And so come back to that now and remind yourself that you just did something really good for yourself. You gave yourself the gift of self-inquiry, observation, movement, breath, attention and focus. And notice how you feel when you do those things. Bring your hands into your heart. Bow your mind to your heart. Honor yourself. Congratulate yourself. Rise with your inhale. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Oh my God, there's cat hair everywhere. And I will see you streaming in about, I don't know how many days, but in a little couple weeks-ish. Lulu, Lulu. Doesn't she look and sound angry? She's purring. She's the happiest cat. She just, she has one sound. It's only one sound. Meow. <laughs> <laughs>